Hey, Conduits. Uh, Dr. Romano, perfect timing. Barbara Romano. What are you doing here? Hey, you know hey, each other. Hey, hey, you've got quite a protege here. She's convinced me to waive my fee and perform a stylastic medialization on this young woman. Well, there are still a few matters to be ironed out. You want to operate on my patient? Oh, she's ideal for the procedure, yeah. Yeah, and, and, unless, of course, there's a problem with that. Great. Well, it'll be a chance for us to put our heads together. <coughs> well, I've got to get back across town, so you'll be in touch with me. Oh, right? let me walk you out. Dr. Corday, uh, if, if you have a moment, uh, come stay with me. All right, Rocket, good to see you. Take care. Bye. Bye. What's the matter? Shut the door. Was I not clear this morning? What did I say about that procedure? Well, if the doctor's fee is the barrier, I thought... That is not the only barrier. Cottonwoods can't operate here. He doesn't have privileges. And we are sure as hell not going to move that girl to Northwestern for vocal cord surgery with her leg as fragile as it is. Dr. Ansvar's willing to grant him temporary privileges. It so happens he's a great fan of Dr. Kotlovitz. Oh, so now you are planning my patient's course of treatment with the chief of staff. We ran into him in the hallway. This is great news for Allison. Allison is my patient. I will decide what is in her best interest. This surgery is in her best interest. It is an unnecessary trip to the OR! No, it's not. Now, I don't know what's going on between you and Dr. Kotlovitz, and quite frankly, I couldn't give up. Alison wants her voice back, and it's incumbent upon us to find the best way of bringing that about. Are you questioning my commitment to this patient's best interests? No. Good. Because that is not something you want to be doing. Lizzie. 